Hello everyone. Welcome to Gigi's Magic Mailbox. I'm Gigi. I'm so, so glad you're here. <gasps> Did you hear that? That means something's just arrived in the Magic Mailbox. Let's see what it is. Oh, giraffes can't dance. <laughs> this book's been out for a little while, but it's so good. I just wanted to share it with you all. This is so funny. Poor little Gerald. His legs are so long and his neck is so long. He's finding it hard to dance. You know, Gigi loves to dance herself, but I'm not the best dancer, but I love to dance anyways. And you've probably heard that we have Gigi's dance party sometimes at my house with all the grandbabies and it's so much fun. So do you ever do that? Do you put on music and just dance and dance and dance? I love doing that. Well, let's see what happens when poor Gerald feels like he looks funny when he tries to dance. He doesn't want to. He thinks people are going to make fun of him. Well, let's see what happens to poor Gerald, okay? If you have your own copy, go grab it and we'll read it together. All right, let's get started. Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andre and illustrated by Guy Parker Reese. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor. But the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. <sighs> hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. <coughs> Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. 
To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying, and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways, and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I'm dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him, quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle, we must be in a dream, Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said when we find music that we love. The End Since this story is about Gerald the giraffe, let's spell giraffe. J, J. It's a little tricky because it sounds like J, but sometimes G sounds that way. So giraffe starts with G. G I R A. Can you guess the next letter? F F E. Giraffe. G I R A F F E. Good job. Thank you for joining me today to read Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald didn't think he could dance, did he? But it wasn't him that was the problem. He just had to find the right music, didn't he? I love all kinds of music and I bet Gerald does too now that he learned that he can dance and have so much fun doing it. I hope you have fun dancing too. Put some music on right now after this video and have a great time just dancing up a storm. That'll be fun, won't it? Well, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon.